We have 13 participants in the course right now. Um, they're gonna have the opportunity to do conventional implant placement along with the guided surgery implant placement. All the participants have never placed implants before. I never had an idea that we would be able to learn like this. We got to do uh, everything ourselves and yet the results were perfect. We didn't have to interrupt like uh, and correct a lot because really we were just monitoring and checking them and they were really perfect. They're always there for questions and they check on you but at the same time they let you do most of the work, um, so uh, you don't feel like you're just watching. In some courses, you do feel that. He got me to do the whole thing all my own. He was just sitting actually on the other side of the chair by the patient's feet, watching me, cheering me on as I did it. So it was fantastic. I loved it. I think there was some surprises along the way where some areas are a little bit more difficult. Sometimes things don't go as planned with the with the guided, so you got to know the conventional. Definitely, there is value behind both. It's good to know if something goes wrong, how to kind of salvage that. We need to learn both, but like the guided is, is way better, way faster, way more predictable. Like, you know what, what you're gonna do, what you're getting into before you do anything. We had a lot of reflection on how different it feels on the typodons um, versus real life. They are dealing with tissue now, they are seeing there's a blood, there's tongue, uh, there's patients, some of them are not sedated. They dealt with sedated patients. This is. This is a, a nice learning experience as well, too. You have to do the hands-on component with live patients. It's, insane, it's yeah. not even close. I've, I actually had tougher time working on the typodonts than on the actual live patients. It feels so different because it's like a plastic material, really, versus actual bone and feeling how, you know, different levels of the bone can feel different. It's a live tissue. This tissue might be thick, might be thin. You never know what you're going into. Even raising the flap is challenging between different patients. All these little things that if you're on your own without an instructor, you would freak you out at the beginning because it's not a feeling you can get from a type of gun. It was not a straightforward case, trust me. It was a um, full arch case in the morning, did very well. They were prepared really well. I was impressed, to be honest, with their performance today. Yeah, doing a full arch case was yeah, not something I'd ever thought I'd do in this course. It was really nice to get kind of both aspects of that, get, you know, something that's more complex that I won't see as often and get experience with that. And the thing is that we selected cases where they can see different scenarios. It's not just like a you're drilling for one implant because it is really not enough. Some of them went completely smooth, the other ones had complication, which is the best time to have complication when you arrive with the perfect instructors that we had. Yesterday we've done everything, it was perfect on the CT scan, when we opened it, it was like a whole different thing, right? Yeah. yeah it happens sometimes, like, not, nothing's perfect, right? Yeah. But again, like they, sh they, they showed us how to work around it and how to be able to pick that up. We have learned how to, you know, kind of troubleshoot those things and then when we, and to decide, you know, which cases to pick, and which to stay clear in the beginning. So how many implants did you place? Uh, five. Nine. And wow. assisted maybe 10 or something. <laughs> While assisting, I learned even more. I'm gonna place for a six implant and like assisting six songers is 12, it's like that. Yesterday and today, I put in three implants. So far, three. Yeah, nice. so I placed three implants, which was wonderful, yeah. I believe I did four or five. Uh, some were guided, some were conventional, some needed bone grafting after. But did exceed my expectations, um, especially with being able to place so many implants. I think that's where the real value comes from. You place uh, 62 implants. Wow, yes. wow, long days. Yes. Have you taken any other implant courses before? Yes, I've taken a few, yeah. but I haven't actually done any implants. I think if it weren't for this, I would still be hesitant to put my first implant. Anytime when I attend any course, I don't feel comfortable to work after. Now, after these two days of surgery, I feel more comfortable to go and book my patient. I start uh, doing implant on them. And they're all walking around with the uh, the radiograph afterwards saying, hey, look, this is what we did, right? So <laughs> on their phone. We felt confident by the end of the surgery that we, uh, we got the hang of it. We provided them with our contacts. Um, they're free to contact me or Dr. Amin anytime um, before their surgeries, just to give them um, any ideas or any, we can help them with the planning. Amazing, I had no idea we were getting in for this. And nice. uh, by the end of my third day, I feel so good and confident, you know, that nice. we're ready to take on some surgeries now.